So, you want to make your lighting look amazing in Prisma 3D? Then this video is for you. Lighting in Prisma 3D isn't just about dropping in a light and hoping it works. You need to understand a few key things. Which type of light should you use? Skylight, point light, directional light, or spotlight? How reflections behave on objects? For example, metals reflect strongly while wood or cloth barely reflects at all. Another important factor is the difference between day lighting and night lighting. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up both. Let's jump right in. Here's my scene in Prisma 3D. Now, you don't want to just throw in random lights. You need to be intentional. For daylight, you can start with a skylight, which works well as a default outdoor light. But for indoor daytime scenes, I prefer using a directional light instead. Reduce the shadow strength since Prisma 3D doesn't yet support soft shadows and adjust the light intensity until it looks natural. Next, add reflections to your objects. Metallic surfaces should shine more, while non-metallic materials like wood should stay matte. Play around with different reflection levels to see what fits your scene best. Now for the real challenge, night mode. Start by adding a skylight and setting the time to 24 hours, midnight, for total darkness. Lower the shadow strength, then add a directional light, reduce its intensity and shadows, and duplicate it. Position one light facing right and the other facing left to create a nice, balanced night ambience. To finish it off, bring in some point lights to fill out your scene. Keep shadows reduced. Around 0.3 works great for all lights. Finally, just like in day mode, give your objects proper reflections. Experiment until you find the right balance and your scene will start to look naturally lit. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.